Domenico 101 MMA.com. This is Steve Domenico from Domenico 101 MMA, and I'm here with Sean Evans, who's uh, going to be fighting March 11th for Premier FC. Uh, his first time fighting for Premier FC. How you doing, Sean? Doing great. I'm glad you can make it out here. Awesome. We're at New England Combat, uh, where a lot of professional fighters from New England, a lot of uh, actually champions fight from here. Mm-hmm. And Sean comes here every so often, cross training with uh, guys, getting some work in. So how's how's that working out for you? It works out great. Um, mostly come down here because of Greg Rebello. He's usually here, but Nate opens it up to us and uh, I like to get my jiu-jitsu in, in down here with uh, Marcelo Cruz, real great black belt. So it's just a big cross-training day. It's a little bit of every gym down here, but Nate runs the show. We just do whatever he flows with. And, uh, yeah, well, as we well, we have footage with, with you and Nate, and, uh, yeah, it's a big grind here. Mm-hmm. And it has to be because these guys are constantly competing, a revolving door of fighters uh, on all different cards. And uh, uh, where is your main, uh, main area that you train out of, though? Uh, right now, currently, it's uh, BST in Menden. That's like my main jiu-jitsu school. I do my boxing elsewhere and my jiu-jitsu at Dan Simler MMA in Worcester, where I actually live. That's how I got started, was through jiu-jitsu. Yep. But uh, BST is my MMA gym. Awesome. Uh, now you're fighting on the 11th. Mm-hmm. Uh, first time fighting for Premier, which is yeah. a, you know, one of the biggest you know, promotions uh, uh, you know, in the area, New England area. How, how'd you come, how'd you get this opportunity? Did you reach out to Karen or how'd this happen? How'd I reached this... out to Karen first, but uh, BST sealed the deal for me. Uh, you know, they're really good about the management part of things, yep. you know, because I'll just put myself out there. They made sure to secure this with Karen, you know, and I'm really grateful. It's, you know, new new promotion for me. Like I said, it's my, my debut there. So, you know, it's always good to get new eyes. You know, when you're on the local scene, you know the more viewers the better, and this is another opportunity to show off my skills. Excellent, excellent. And I see you on social media, you're busy on social media. Mm-hmm. Uh, you're getting your name out there, which is great, and you're, you're coming on a great card in Premier FC. You're training with a bunch of monsters. Oh yeah. So, this is your second professional fight coming mm-hmm. up. Uh, you're fighting uh, 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 middleweight, 185? Yes. Um, and. My God, you look like a, a beast out, you know, training with these guys here. You look like you're keeping your own there. So. Uh, I'm a big middleweight. Yeah, yeah, you're <laughs> it's a big really dude. no secret. It's no secret. Yeah. It's not the funnest process to make, but it, it's my weight class due to my height and stuff. Yeah. I mean, you know, I'm really, I really got it down to about science being the biggest middleweight possible. Yeah. Nice and athletic. I mean, it's, it's my weight class. Yeah, I can, you know, you look comfortable in it. Mm-hmm. I mean, um, you look like. You're in great shape, and mm-hmm. and weight cutting's not an issue for you, so you'll be very strong and ready yeah. to go. On that's why I'm a middleweight. I mean, I fought in other weight classes before, but yeah. it allows you to be a little lazier with the diet. You know, at 85, I'm actually in the best shape I can possibly be in due to all the clean eating. You know, I have to eat clean to make the weight. Yep. So it just keeps you on point. It helps you stay more focused. You know? That's awesome. That's an awesome way to look at it. And you know what? Up-and-coming fighters, mm. they're always looking for a way to, you know, because you know some of them misguided cutting yeah. weight and this and it's nice to get out there to show you know that yeah, the way yeah. to do it right because there are a lot of fighters that cut a lot of weight to get where they are and you don't have to kill yourself to do it yeah they don't do it you mean if you like originally I fought a 205 mostly but when you make a transition down you can't do it last minute it needs to be weeks ahead you need to prep your body for the cut and plus my training partners here much I think they like me better a little lighter <laughs> <laughs> you've been squashing them a little bit in the past you gotta use the weight sometimes you know some of these guys are really good so you know I gotta I gotta power through yeah well that's good uh, all right so Anyone you want to say shout out to, sponsors, friends, training partners? Oh, my main training partner is Chris. Where did he go around here? That's all right. We'll find him okay. somewhere. He'll pass Chris by. Chris Martino, he's, awesome. uh, he's my main training partner outside of Jose Campos. You know, he's, he's another beast. He's not here because he has to work right now. Yeah. But those two, no matter where I go, what gym, they, like, you know, we get training in together always. That's, like, my core, too. And I, I have so many training partners. I mean, I try to build a good relationship with, you know, everyone, you know, just says I'm trying to get to the big show one day. Mm-hmm. So I, I don't try to get in no local feuds and stuff, you know. Yeah. Help, you know, build each other up to get to the next show, you know. It's excellent because you never know who you're going to be training with down the, exactly. down, down the road because, you know, New England's a small area and we're... Yeah, we got to help building. get each other to exactly. the, the next show. Uh, Premier FC, all these big cards coming in. That's why I always try to fight non-locals too. I really prefer, I mean, I'll fight anybody, yeah. but I mean, I always love when I'm fighting someone not in my mm-hmm. immediate area, you know. And that's, what, make, yeah, that's what's like been 
happening. Yeah. Like a lot of promotions around New England are bringing in the, you know, the outside fighters, yeah. showing us, showing us off to yeah. the rest of the world, which is great. So, Sean, glad you came on. Can't wait to see you. Sean be fighting. Mm -hmm. March 11th yep. in Agawam, Mass for Premier SC. Mm -hmm. um, his second professional fight, so we can't wait to see you. Thank you. All right, oh, social media. How do we get in touch with you on social media? Uh, you can get at me through Facebook. I mean, I'm on there. I'm on uh, Snapchat at uh, SeanMMA89. And I also have the Facebook fan page. But I mean, mostly on Snap lately these days. It's more fun. But uh, find, you can find me through Facebook. Excellent. And all your fighters out there, social media. Yeah. Social media. Helps the ticket get, sales. Yeah. Helps the ticket we, sales, people. We got to get you out there. Yeah. Don't be shy. Us as media, we want to get you out there. So mm -hmm. uh, from Dominico 101 MMA, New England Combat, Sean Evans, mm -hmm. we out of here. Thank you, brother.